The governor today warned that winter is going to be a difficult time until the vaccine is available for everyone. The next uh, few months, maybe the next 45 to 60 days, may be the toughest stretch of all as we see uh, case rates going up, infection rates increasing. Governor Gary Herbert left intact his existing public health orders that include a statewide mask mandate and limits to how many people you can gather with. Most of Utah still remains in the highest risk and restriction levels for COVID-19, as state officials watch to see if the Thanksgiving holiday causes another surge in cases, and hospitals continue to be taxed. The state is now renting space to act as an overflow for COVID-19 patients. We can't and see the light at the end of the tunnel. So we really need to hold steady over the next several months, wearing our masks, trying to keep our close contacts to our household as much as possible, practicing physical distancing, and of course, if you haven't yet, get your flu vaccine. Fox 13 is told the first shipments of a vaccine will arrive as early as December 15th. It'll be distributed in waves, starting with five hospitals across the state. Targeting those healthcare personnel that have been on the front lines taking care of our COVID patients since March. From there, people will get it in order of priority. It's expected to take until summer to have it widely available to the public. Until then, masks and physical distancing will remain. We will continue to need to practice and be vigilant with until we can make sure that the virus is no longer circulating um, throughout our communities. And it's unknown how long the vaccine lasts. We just don't know. Meanwhile, the state gave new guidance on quarantine. It's been reduced from 14 days to 10, 7 if you take another COVID test and come back negative. Live on the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.